Okay, from the top, right? One, two, three. Studio 101 is amazingly special. That was a really good feel. <laughs> They believe in what we do as artists. That's a good feel right there. And it's, it's not a business. <laughs> it's not a business. It's a place where you can go be an artist. Nice timing on that. Isn't that great? You can put your heart on record. Let me say this real quick. Let me say it, 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 And it's magical. So cool. But you know, you got a $2,000 mic and a $3,000 guitar. What could go wrong? Well, the player. <laughs> For musicians, studio time can be a rewarding. So I'm always excited to be in the studio. Fun. Because you never know what's going to blossom from it. And stressful process. It's like a microscope for your playing. It's terrifying and you can see everything at the same time. There's a pressure. I'm going to listen to it one more time. To make every note perfect. Once you lay it down, it's there forever. But sometimes that's not the point at all. It's perfect because it's perfectly imperfect. It's just so. Beautiful. Patrick Gibson and his band have been here before. That song right there does something. The singer-songwriter has three releases and a passionate fan base. We play out as, uh, as often as we can. But this latest project... So we're just trying to finish up this project to get it out. ...may be his most meaningful. This is my dad's legacy. You see, this session isn't about catchy hooks or radio airplay. Dad was ultimately diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer. It's about honoring a dying wish. That was dad's dream to cut a gospel record on a professional level. That was dad's dream to cut a gospel record with me. Whenever y'all are ready, I'm ready. And for three nights late last year, they did just that. It's inoperable. 18 months what they gave me. Candid and to the point, 57-year-old Steve Gibson spent some of his final days right here in this studio. I'm just a pilgrim on this road of saints. Belting out raw. I'm just a pilgrim on Unfiltered gospel. Dad was a great musician. He had a great heart for music. He was intimidated. He's never been in a recording studio before, as talented as he was. Just like you, I'm just trying to get home. Together, they sang music of the church, music of the soul, music his son Patrick hopes will live on to inspire others. We're just people walking this earth, you know, trying to do God's work, but we're gonna stumble and we're gonna fall. Um, we're just another pilgrim on the road. Stumbling, falling, it's part of life. And it's something to which he and his dad were not immune. There was a point in my life where I felt I didn't care if he was in my life you know, because we felt abandoned. Which makes this project all the more special. This absolutely was a second chance. We learned how to forgive. We came together. We made music. You know, that's, that's pretty dang awesome. That's pretty dang awesome. Brought together as much by faith as fate. Music and the gospel is what brought us back together. And not only facing death. Yeah, with this chemo I've been on, man, it just takes your breath away also. I'm trying to do this and Keep my breath right. <laughs> but praising it in song. Honestly, you know, the whole time we were in the studio, like, all fear is gone. And I will spend eternity We utilized every millisecond that we had to enjoy and soak in the moment. I'm happy with it. Um, just let the sun shine, you know. Yeah, good job, buddy. You did great. So we record this record in December. Okay, brother. And then in February. Not this way. He passed it. Follow me. Kind of makes you wonder if he was holding on for that, huh? From studio to stage, perfection is measured in crowd response. I feel a sense that that has his hand on me. The room will tell you if you're doing it right. People always tell me, your music's going to live on forever. Leaving here. No That's something you could leave behind for your kids. It's legacy, but it's more than that. All that's left is it's pure testimony. It's pure testimony about life. I think every song I ever sing, I'm always going to remember my dad. Ah, how do you get the people to get this? Like, that's the hardest part, is how, how do you get them to understand this? Months later, isn't that pretty? They'll return to the studio and this tiny room. There you go. This is the real deal. To mix it all together. But he does have a really nice tone, you know? All of our life, all of our life led to this. A second chance. Woo! Right? Dad put it in there, brother. Come on. With the power to live on. There's no do-overs. The music Dad gave us here, 
There's no changing it. There's there's no redoing it. It's perfect in its own way. It's perfect the way it needs to be. He's in the valley for me. It, it, it's it's dad perfect. Love you, Dad. I love you too, son.